These people don't want to believe that Palestinian fighter Wadi al Hawah is dead. But he died from his wounds after Israeli forces targeted him in the city of Nablus, north of the occupied West Bank. Five other Palestinians were also killed by Israeli forces, turning Tuesday into the worst night of violence in the occupied West Bank in years. One of the bodies being taken out of the area was burnt after Israeli forces fired at the car it was in. This is where Al Hawah was killed in the old city of Nablus. He was a leader of the lion's den, which Israel says is based here. Witnesses say he was killed by drones, which would be a new Israeli tactic. They say that scenes on Tuesday reminded them of the second Palestinian Intifada more than 20 years ago. Tens of thousands of people bid farewell to the five men killed in Nablus. Despite Israeli threats, hundreds of armed Palestinians came to the funerals and fired their weapons in the air. Our response will be earth-shattering. It'll be in the heart of Tel Aviv to revenge the killing of the five great men of Nablus. We'll be there for them. As tension builds, support amongst Palestinians for armed attacks against Israeli forces is increasing. Those fighters revived the spirit of resistance in the Palestinian streets again. We are following the will of the martyrs who said not to abandon weapons. The lions then became so popular that songs are being made to praise them. Members of the den come from different political factions and have agreed to work together to fight Israel's occupation. In a shooting attack two weeks ago, the group claimed responsibility for the killing of an Israeli soldier. Since then, Israel has blockaded Nablus. Mohammed Tabanja is one of those who survived the exchange of fire on Tuesday. He's also a member of the lion's den. Many say Israel's blockade on Nablus aims to turn people against the fighters. So far, they've been only gaining more support. Nida Ibrahim, Al Jazeera, The Occupied West Bank.